Santa Barbara County fire crews responded to a house fire that broke out in Goleta this morning. Officials say it happened at 160 Salisbury Avenue near Cathedral Oaks Road in Goleta. Officers suspect the cause of the fire to be arson. And KSBY reporter Taylor Hilo spoke to residents in the area. It's a crazy morning for residents in Goleta. They woke up to a fire that broke out at around 438 this morning. But the story really started last night when deputies were called out to this same house. And the call was that the suspect, Christopher Vance, was acting strange. When deputies arrived on the scene with fire crews, they found the house engulfed in flames. Since they'd been there earlier, they conducted a follow-up and requested a mental health evaluation. As County Fire worked to knock down the structure fire, deputies learned that Vance had likely intentionally started the fire, discharged a firearm at some point, and fled the scene. A woman who was inside the residence was injured in the fire incident by ambulance to an area hospital. Residents reported multiple accounts of Vance trying to break into their home, prompting deputies to ask residents to stay inside until they found him. A wake-up call, residents remember vividly. I heard sirens and they just kept coming and coming and I thought it was just like a normal high-speed chase that we've had around here. So I went to the front door, saw all the lights, came out, we had all the neighbors outside and I could see the flames coming from the back side of the house behind us. Officials say Vance was tracked to the 7700 block of Jenna Drive where he was taken into custody. He was transported to an area hospital where he's being treated for injuries he sustained prior to being taken into custody. The fire's all out now, but investigators are still on scene digging through debris to find the exact cause of that fire. Vance has since been booked into the main jail with two misdemeanors and four felony charges. He's being held on $500,000 bail. For KSBY News, I'm Taylor Hilo.